Good morning and welcome to Winescape TV. I am your host, as always, Ditch Oakley, and we're delighted to have with us Pierre from Simantic Wine Estates in Stellenbosch in South Africa. Now we have tirelessly, painlessly worked our way through this lovely selection of wine, starting with the Cast Mongol all the way through to the Reds, and we're now ending up with, um, well, on the doorstep, should we say, of the Tiara, which is, of course, the classic uh, Bordeaux blend um, from Simensig. Uh, very excited. This is, uh, this is the pinnacle um, of what we're going to be tasting today. And so, without further ado, let me get some in my glass. Well, after you, of course, <laughs> Pierre. I'd hate to... Uh, you've got to pour for your guests first, after all. Um, but this is the Tiara. Uh, it doesn't get open very often at this end. It should do more often. I will put a word into the management. Talk me through this Bordeaux blend. Well, the Tiara is, uh, we see it as the, the crown of our red wines, as the name says. Um, the idea was to make something that is, uh, you know, it's got structure and, and really full-bodied wine, but it has to have an elegance. Uh, like a Tiara is a crown made for a princess or a bride. So the Tiara has to have that, uh, you know, really elegant uh, flavors and, and not big blockbuster wine. So the Tiara is uh, always Cabernet dominated. Uh, this is close to close to 80% Cabernet, with uh, some Merlot, uh, Petit Verdot, Cabernet Franc, and 2009 was the first year we also put in some Malbec. Okay. A little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little. Yeah. Little little snifter of Malbec. <laughs> yeah, I think we've got to, got two percent of Malbec in there. Yeah. So the, the oaking is 90% uh, French oak, uh, a little bit of American oak in there, and it's uh, it's about 80% new oak as well. That's lovely. Uh, I think, yeah. I mean that that could you could put that away as well, couldn't you? You could put that away for quite a few years and watch that, uh, watch that change. Just before I came over, we had some uh, two thousand and two thousand and three vintages that we opened in the tasting room. And those wines are really great right now. That's fourteen and eleven years, and they're down the line. So the Cabernet, you know, Stellenbosch is Cabernet country. Um, the, the Cabernets are always naturally quite big wines, big tannins, and, and they can last. So for us, it's um, it's really easy to produce great Cabernet. Yeah, no, this is uh, this is absolutely delicious. And again, this is a this is quite a serious wine. I've got to be honest. And I said this is the the crown that uh, that Simmonsig are coming out with the tiara uh, for a princess. Unfortunately, I wouldn't be able to carry off the tiara. It'd look pretty silly on a bald head like mine. Um, but uh, this is definitely a wine which is worth checking out. Um, it is, as I say, the pinnacle um, from the Simmonsig wine estates. Um, Pierre, cheers. This is absolutely fantastic. 